I've got a pretty big task to do with one of my hives. They're growing cross comb and doubling up on themselves. Once I get in here, I'll show you the good hive, the one on my left over here. It's working really well. They're, the bees are building perfectly. This one, they're doubling up and it's causing me a lot of issues. It's really hard for me to find the queen because she might actually be in between all of the, the hives, the, uh, the honeycomb. I'll show you once I'm in there the differences between the two if you haven't seen it before. And I should have gotten to this sooner. I haven't had time. So this is going to be a big task that I have to do. The bees are not going to be happy, so I'm going to get suited up. But first, let me actually show you what a good hive looks like and then what uh, this other hive, uh, my problem is. All right, as you can see in here, all the bees are drawing their comb directly up and down, perpendicular with the ground. So you don't get any cross comb from one frame to the other. I have an issue with the other one now to where they're growing, they're, they're drawing their comb from one end to the other. So it's a lot of double-sided. So it's hard to, the queen will hide in between those cells. While we're here though, I think I did notice that a bee, that a, one of the honeycombs or broodcomb has fallen inside of here. And that's something we're gonna have to deal with since I opened this one up. Right here, this frame that is supposed to hold the honeycomb into place got pushed out somehow. So I have something to tie this into place. There's a piece of that comb that had fallen on the bottom down here. I may end up just leaving that. Also, you normally have rubber bands for this, but I ran out and uh, my local tractor supply and everywhere near me didn't have any. So I have some twine that I'm going to wrap everything in. I'm also going to do it to the other side too. That's all it needs is just that one. It's pretty stable. They'll build some propolis around this hopefully and keep it sturdy. Since this one's up and open, we might as well just do a cursory check to make sure everything else is fine. Getting a good idea on what the bees are thinking and how they are doing in here.
All right, that hive looked really great. No cross comb, everything was fine. They're not trying to create new queens. I didn't find the queen, but I saw baby brood, um, baby bees, uh, and I am I'm pretty happy with that one. Now we gotta get to the difficult thing. Now hopefully I don't have to wear my gloves too much because it'll be easier to do all this. They might get a little bit testy with me because I'm going to be ripping apart their hive pretty much. So. Uh, let's get started. This needs to be done pretty badly. Now here is that cross comb I was talking about. They've like double deckered the comb. And when I go to tear this apart, I need to make sure that the queen doesn't get lost or smashed and I can't find her. It's really hard to find her. And I'm gonna be taking off this front layer here and then attaching that to another frame, an empty frame. Or I might even be able to fill this spot with it, something we're gonna to have to see, but this is the issue that I have to deal with with a few of them. This frame right here doesn't have the problem. There's another one or two on the inside of here that they've done this. So it's an issue that I have to fix and have to address soon. Now hopefully I can get this off without causing too much trouble for the bees. And I can safely find the queen Try to draw them down inside first. A little bit off of this. Normally you could kind of shake this off, but if I shake it, I'm gonna lose this whole piece right here. And who knows what's on the inside. It seems like this is just honey. I don't see any babies, so that could be good for us. That means the queen wouldn't be here. Oh, there's the queen. Found her. Well, that actually turned out to be a good thing. Found her on our first frame right here, and she wasn't on this side that has be the, the side that came off. She's over here. So I can't find her at the moment. But I'm going to put her back inside and deal with this honeycomb in a second. I want to make sure that this queen is safe. There she is. Let's see. Shoot, queen fell, queen fell. Oh, my queen. She had fallen off of that frame onto the ground. I heard her fall, but I wasn't sure. And so I luckily had this clip on hand and I was able to pick her up and keep her safe. I'm gonna put her I'm going to keep her in here during this whole process because uh, I don't want to go through that again. I cannot believe that I saw that. I'm so happy I was able to grab her. Woo! Dangerous. And now they're getting upset with me.
there's a baby being born right now. Look at that. I'm going to put it on another hive, another comb to keep it safe. There it is. Just born. Here you go, little one. There you go. Okay, that was a little tedious. And now we have to get the rest of the bees off of this frame. And I'm believing I will tie them up. I'm going to fit this. Will it fit? No, I'm going to let them draw this one out themselves and I'll put it on a new frame. Okay, I'm going to leave this off to the side, keep it safe, and uh, we'll come right back to this one. There are babies in here, so I'm going to want to put it close back to where I got it because that's where the queen has been. And uh, here, look at this. This right here, how it's growing extra off the side. This one, because it's up against this edge, isn't going to give me too much of a problem. But this one is, and luckily it's not attached down underneath here. So all I'm going to do is cut this part off so that the frames can go flush up against each other. So that hopefully I don't have this cross comb problem again. Flush. Okay, that is one completed. I really wish I had those rubber bands, but this is it. Moving on to the next. Hey, look how bad it is right in here. Everything is touching. Get the queen back in over here though, so she's in a safer position. And then move everything slightly to reveal that other bad one. Yeah, these two are kind of super stuck. Oh, hey, look at this. Look, look, look. This one is not, this one right here is not as stuck to this frame as I thought it was going to be. I thought they were, they were going to be super jam-packed together. I know that these two are overlapping on the inside of here, so we're going to have to address this, but... It's going to be easier because I thought this whole thing was going to be one big comb.
tiny bit of their uncapped honey has fallen. Let me show you Here is the issue with this one Here is the issue with this one We've got comb on one side folded over to the other Now I think this is mostly just honey storage and if that's the case, I don't know if I mind. Because I really don't want to mess this one up without the rubber bands. This one, I think, is mostly honey. Nope, I see brood. Hmm. Okay, well that main one that the queen was on is fixed. This one's going to have to be addressed I think in the future when I get those rubber bands and for the most part we're pretty good I just want to make sure I can get everything kind of back together without messing it all up but what I will do what I'm going to do is take those good frames take those other frames kind of switch things around here's the problem that I was having two pieces of comb were being drawn separately on the same frame so bees and brood were all being collected in the center not a problem in the wild but it is a problem when i need to monitor my hive i want to make sure that they're not laying queen cells where the queen is because in this position i wasn't even able to see the queen because she actually hid inside of here and every time i went to go find her apparently that's where she was a big downside to not having some uh, big rubber bands, this is not for bees, this wasn't, wouldn't have held it, but to not having some big rubber bands is that it didn't really... I had some trouble tying the little thread uh, onto the frames like I needed, and it just wasn't as strong as I was hoping to put uh, that honeycomb in. So I just need to order some because... I had some and then I ran out and uh, I thought I had more on hand, but I didn't. And I needed to do this bef what, because right now is the time. I have, I have the opportunity and the time to do it, so it is what it is. It's just one of those things. Thanks for watching and going through this with me. A little stressful moment that we had with that queen, but it's all good. I can't wait to see you next time.